Hello there. Uh, we welcome you back once again uh, to the session. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about the most famous santur instrument, uh, which is being displayed below. Okay. As a demo, I just played the national song of one of the most important national songs of India, which is Vande Madram. And it was a very very famous song. It was sung during the independence movement all over the India. and whenever i play this song i remember all those sacrifices made by those gentlemen who work for the independence you too should be proud of our nation right and this song strongly provokes that uh, emotion uh, whatever feelings and uh, yeah i can't explain that in words Okay now let's uh, get into the technical details of this <laughs> instrument see actually santur is not uh, doesn't have a traditional indian origin uh, it has an origin from persia i mean uh, present day iran okay so it's a trapezium shaped instrument uh, okay the shape is displayed below and uh, it is a stringed instrument uh, okay while we saw flute which was a wind instrument uh, santur is a stringed instrument so while playing uh, each instrument you should know what you are playing uh, uh, then only you can simulate the same thing like the original instrument player okay now coming back to this lesson i played this song one day madram in the key of d i don't think bends pitch bends play a maximum role here pitch bends don't have much role here in santur okay but if you want you can use i'll show you slightly a small technique using pitch bend in santur
you see i'm not even using half of this blender just in milliseconds i'm touching this i am taking my finger back and i am changing the chord simultaneously here from later part of this a major okay so the c sharp and e form the later part of a major second half of a major and from there i am switching to d major not the whole chord but half part of d major which is d and f sharp now from b minor to a major okay uh, remember each instrument has to be played in a typical manner you can't use this then it won't sound like a santur it will sound like a some kind of guitar okay so it has to be played in such a manner next thing uh this has a lot of trills what they call as uh, trills in guitar okay similar kind of thing the santur instrument uh, is having so let uh, let me explain how to use this trills fortunately in this keyboard uh, that sound is automatically here can you hear that click 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 that sound like wind chimes it comes there okay but what if your keyboard is not having you're just having an yamaha i mean a, even a lower end version that's a separate session where i will i'm going to explain you how to set this tone in yamaha and i'm going to play the same thing in yamaha and demonstrate to you but just for a uh, knowledge purpose i am telling one small tip you take santuru as a main voice and as a layer voice or a dual voice and if you are having right one right two in uh, in your keyboard in right two you take any guitar especially 12 string guitar there's a tone called 12 string guitar in yamaha keyboard please take that tone that would be useful to you okay see i have already taught you that uh, flute single note uh, runs in that yani nightingale with that two fingers same thing could be used in this santuru instrument also uh, same thing could be implemented listen so you have to master this first in a single note don't try in all the notes just first try, try this in a single note can you hear that there are two ways of doing this you can even try it with a single hand two fingers of, of a single hand otherwise you can even try with both of your hands in the single note like this so by the way what you are doing is you are creating a pedal tone here okay you know i explained already what is a pedal tone in synthesizer leads a pedal tone keeps on repeating throughout the lead i mean it's like a loop it keeps on repeating again and again like a cycle pedal when you um, uh, push the pedal with your leg it goes down and again it comes back again up like that okay so you are going to fix the pedal tone at any key in the scale it's usually better uh, to fix the pedal tone the same root note of the scale in this case i have selected d scale okay for this song i mean for the song vande madaram so the song which i played now is uh, i played in the d scale so i am fixing the pedal tone here as d okay what if i fix the pedal tone as g let's try that uh. it sounds good but it's not as good as d okay so it's better to fix the pedal tone in the root note of the song i mean in the scale which the song lies so i am fixing the pedal tone as d now you are going to pedal this <laughs> like a cycle okay <laughs>